I am Juliet Echan Safo and this is Graphic Online's News in Brief, brought to you by have you thought of having access to your news at any time and anywhere? Graphic Communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form. Simply download the Graphic News Plus from Google Play Store on your Android and App Store on your iOS device and get your digital news from your favorite daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, graphic showbiz, junior graphic and graphic sports. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Coming up, Justice Gertrude Tokonu calls for robust national conversation on corruption. Businessman Alfred Agbesi Woyome in fresh fraud case as investigators uncover new evidence. Safety was sacrificed in relocating car partnership and this is a graphic online special feature. Gender experts tell parents not to be judgmental on abused girls. Court of Appeal Judge and President nominee for the Supreme Court, Justice Gertrude Tokonu, is calling for a more robust national conversation on corruption. She says the issues of corruption in Ghana have been loosely handled and need to be properly homed in for a national direction. Justice Getru Tokonu, who was speaking on Tuesday during her vetting by Parliament Appointment Committee, agreed with members of Parliament that there appears to be the smuggling into Ghanaian values some foreign practices that are considered alien and should be checked. Beyond a very close circuit, make it your practice to stay away from gifts altogether because of the nature of the judicial function. That that is the situation with um, the judiciary, for instance. So I think that every institution should do that assessment. The woes of businessman Mr. Alfred Agbesi Woyome, the man who has been ordered to pay back 51 million Ghana cities he illegally received from the state, are far from over as the Attorney General's department has found fresh evidence of fraud against him. Investigators at the Attorney General's Department found that he allegedly fabricated evidence in court and this will form the basis for fresh legal action against him. The Deputy Attorney General, Mr. Godfrey Yeboadame, who disclosed this, said the department has forwarded the memo to the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service to investigate and prosecute Woyome for colluding with the SYUT Bank to fabricate evidence about the ownership of his assets which the state attached through a Supreme Court ruling. It has emerged that the project to relocate Ghana's car power ship to Sekendi in the Western region to enable it to utilize natural gas for its operations at a cheaper cost than heavy oil fuel was executed with little regard for safety. Graphic Online's Western Regional Correspondent Moses Kobla Akloba to report that several security lapses on the project constitutes a major weakness that should be rectified immediately. He says in some instances, pylons carrying high-tension cables run just above buildings or busy roads and put lives and property in serious danger. The gas pipelines run through the communities from the Abwazi end of the Ghana gas metering station through a sipo to the power ship with a lot of human activities along the line. He says power pylons, particularly in view of the locations, have been confirmed by experts to pose immediate danger to the lives of the people within its environs. In another instance, concrete crash barriers instead of roller barriers have been erected in a sharp curve to protect a pylon. The first ever Safe Space Conference, which aimed at ending the culture of silence among children, particularly girls who suffer gender-based violence, has been held in Accra by Plan International. The conference, which brought various stakeholders including survivors of gender-based violence, counsellors and other experts in matters of domestic violence was to help the participants, especially the girls, to understand sexual rights and where to seek help when they are abused. The project manager of Girls Advocacy Alliance Project, Ms. Anna Nabir, asked parents and guardians not to be judgmental on their children, particularly girls who suffer gender-based violence, in order to enable such girls to speak up when they are abused. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh, follow us via Facebook at Daily Graphic, 
YouTube and Twitter at GraphicDH. I am Juliet Echansa. Thanks for watching.